Continue though our coverage tonight of the death of state trooper Jacques Rougeau, a Cory native who was killed over the weekend while on duty in central Pennsylvania. He died Saturday in the southeastern part of the state following a suspect who allegedly tried to kill a trooper at the barracks in Lewiston. Troopers chased the suspect and when Roger drove into the suspect's line of fire, the suspect shot at the patrol car, killing Roger. The suspect was killed in the ensuing firefight and the first trooper that he shot is in critical condition tonight. America Today celebrates Juneteenth, a recognition of the end of slavery in 1865, but in some parts of the country, those celebrations were marred by violence over the weekend. Appalling. Outside Chicago, about two dozen people shot at what was supposed to be a terrific holiday gathering. Instead, 22 people injured, one killed. This was eerie. Stark difference. Peaceful, happy celebration here. The head of the local NAACP says that's a resounding success for Erie, and he says that's excellent, but mm -hmm. he's pushing for more to be done, saying that one day of celebration does not equal equality. We'll hear more from him coming up tonight on Erie News Now at 6. Meanwhile, today was day one of the Police Athletic League's annual summer camp. Yeah, this is the third annual camp and the largest to date. The week-long camp is designed to help improve the relationship between law enforcement and the youth in the community, giving them an opportunity to get to know and respect the law enforcement who serve them. Serve them really from elementary through high school. Uh, so today there was about 120 kids. There's expected to be even more tomorrow. Again, having fun. The Crime Victim Center of Erie County was out there today. There's staff helping to play games with the kids and do a lot as well. Uh, so a total community effort. Absolutely. All right. Remember, there is that QR code at the bottom of the screen. Everything that we're talking about here in this half hour, you can find when you take your smartphone and hover over that QR code. It'll take you right to our website, erienewsnow.com.